this is what's going on. Kath and I live in our compound, four guest houses along the ocean. You know, yeah, like it's all fucking so clear. Yeah. That when I read this to my wife, our net worth, what we do, we get the place in, in Jacksonville. Like, the first time I read it to her, this version of it, like three and a half years ago, she was like, How are we gonna make any of that happen? You're gonna be living anyway. Why not go for something insanely great? Which, you know, my dad's like, if you're down, go get a Rolls Royce. Yeah. And my mom's like, we need money in the bank and we have none, right? So, like, yeah. we were all raised how we were raised. Yeah. But I'm not letting that be my future. You with me? Mm -hmm. My most important mentor would say to me over and over again, Mike Vance, he was like, how is the world experiencing you in 20 years? He's like, the, when I asked the question, like, Steve Jobs and Mother Teresa and all those amazing people that he was a, a mentor to, yeah. I felt such an obligation to perform because I'm like, I don't want to screw the guy's track record. I mean, yeah. like Jack Welch, all these people that that other speaker was talking about, like all those people and more, this guy influenced. He said, they've all answered these questions, but the fourth one is, how is the world experiencing you? That was the first time I actually said to myself, where am I gonna be in 20 years? Now remember, this is like 2002, right? Two years later, I left and started my own business because I, for the first time in my life, I went like this. This is where I want to be. I love my dad, but this is not where I want to be. Now, I'm not, this is not about leaving. This is about declaring where you want to be. The, this is the third version of Kath and I's 20-year vision, right? My wife came from a family of, if you just go to college and get a good job and work there for 60 years, you'll get a pen and you'll retire with a pension. No one in her family did that. Three of them started their own businesses right? Completely counter to what the parents thought. So you ready? It's 2035, right? Our life's insanely great. The essence of everything we planned by our design. Kath and I are celebrating 43 years of marriage. What a ride it's been. More in love today than ever before. Totally connected, body and soul. Deep understanding of each other's strengths and differences and huge levels of appreciation for one another. The success for our marriage, empathy, being vulnerable, right? Michael's 37. I have a 37-year-old son. Future Tom has a 37-year-old son and Stephen's 35. And it become even more than Kath and I could have ever dreamed of. Men of tremendous character. We couldn't be more proud of who they become. Married, families of their own, blessed. But here's the key, ready? We all work together on our assets, businesses we own collectively, charities and causes we're committed to, and the boys have many of their own individual successes, right? Because I want them, I don't want them to just be Tom's kid. I want them to stand on their own feet and be their own guys, right? Right? They bring us diversity, new opportunities, invention, creative thinking. Kath and I work on all these, you know, just, I just go through and describe. I'm 65 years young and this is what's going on. Kath and I live in our compound, four guest houses along the ocean. You know, yeah, like it's all fucking so clear yeah. that when I read this to my wife, our net worth, what we do, we get the place in, in Jacksonville. Like the first time I read it to her, this version of it, like three and a half years ago, she was like, how are we gonna make any of that happen? You know what I mean? Like it, just, it was like total disbelief. Yeah. And the same thing I saw in you, kind of this like, uh, and I'm like, it's gonna happen because we wrote it down. Because we are the kind of people that when we write it down and we like commit to it, it happens. I go, no, all the details of how and you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm like, but all I know is in 20 years, I'm putting a stake in the ground and saying, this is where we're gonna be. I'm like, and what if we only get to like 70% of it? She's like, that life sounds amazing. Yeah. I'm like, right. And if you have like four shekels versus five shekels, does it really matter? Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's about the journey. It's about the experience. But like, it's so crystal clear and detailed of how we want to be. Yeah. Here's look at here's Fairy Ventures. Here's how we created three billion dollars. We had four unicorns. We own ten percent of it. I'm like, it's like super detailed. Was it that detailed the first time? No. So you owe me this in like a week. So, so let me give you the highlights. You ready? You and your hubs, the kids, 
13. You'll have a 23 year old and a 19 year old. You know how fast that goes? No, she'll be out of college. Yeah. And then you personally, you personally means what is the essence of Anne? What is, who is Anne 10 years from now? Who is Anne for others? Who is Anne for herself? What happened professionally? How have you served, impacted, impacted others? Okay, and then I also want to know net worth. Uh, you know, and businesses like businesses that you owned, right? Tom, can you believe my net worth is five million dollars? We've got six thousand dollars a month in passive income. I'm actually angry at you. You were right. You should have told me ten. Do, do you know what I mean? But like, put it all in, and then and then just with this. Remember. You're not carving this into some stone. When I, I just closed it, but do you notice all the stuff that was in yellow highlight? That's all stuff that my wife and I are now debating, like, well, do we want this or that? This is a living, breathing document. Even though we wrote it three and a half years ago and we're going out another, you know, 16 and a half years, it's, we're still adjusting and tweaking and like, I was like, I want to live in New York. And she's like, I don't want to live in New York. Okay, guess what she just said to me two weeks ago? I was looking at apartments in New York, you know, there's actually an opportunity right she wants a deal, right? She's like, we can get a deal, right? Deal. And I was like, did you just say? She's <laughs> like, well, we could rent it out. It'd be like another investment property. But then, you know, maybe in the next couple of years, you know, I was like, like, she would have never said that. We've been married for 25 years together for 27 years. That would never cross. And all, we just keep reading it, keep discussing it. And she's like, yeah, maybe. She'll change her mind 47 times, but it's okay. At least we still have this, like, we know where the bullseye is, the North Star that we're going towards. Right? So then when someone leaves, something goes wrong, things go, we're like, North Star. Yeah.